important. All right, cool. This is Nuke's top five. Like this. Yeah, I'm gonna subscribe to this channel. He's a pretty cool, dude. He does some stuff. Scary videos. All right, let's do it. Urban Exploration Gone Wrong. Urban Explorers Matt and Andy from the YouTube channel Finders Beepers History Seekers travel to an abandoned 1800s farmhouse in West Yorkshire, England. In the early 1900s, a farmer's wife passed away from disease inside the home. Mad with grief, the farmer took the lives of their two children while they slept in their beds. And then he took his own life in the barn. The unsettling tragic history has Matt and Andy a little creeped out as they explore the building. And that's when Andy sees uh, something. This is just all a bit freaky. Let's go in the bathroom. There's nothing in here. Oh, oh, nah, I don't know what I feel about this. Carpet. Very spongy, very spongy carpet. In it, it's very soft. Oh, what? Oh, what? 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 You fucked in there. Look, what? Oh, he's this. <laughs> Do it again, because I don't know if I've got it on camera. I don't know if you can see it. You can. The cord on that. I shove it in there and I saw that bouncing. I <laughs> shit myself. You shit me up. You <laughs> proper shit me up. Oh, my Lord. After Andy's absolutely terrifying encounter with a lamp cord, the two guys laugh it off and continue looking around. But not soon after, things take a truly creepy turn when they hear something absolutely unnerving coming from somewhere inside the building. Says, let alone. <gasps> Where did that come from then? It looks like a bro look at that. Right, Andy, look where it is. Blocking it off. Where's that? Where did that even come from? Don't like it, man. Don't like it. I don't because it weren't it weren't balanced on here, were it? It couldn't happen. Just let me get it. I don't like how it's like that though. Now it's landed. Some Matt and Andy hear what sounds like someone running downstairs. When they go back out into the hallway, an old broom is inexplicably thrown onto the staircase from somewhere. While trying to find an explanation for the terrifying event, a childlike voice can be heard whispering, It's me. Don't 
to like it. So could it be that the two friends accidentally captured the spirits of the family who once lived there? You can watch this entire video and many more creepy explorations through abandoned locations over on the YouTube channel, Binders Beepers History Seekers. Gate to Hell. It's 3 a.m. and Cassandra is shocked awake by the sound of her two very disturbed pit bulls. As she jumps from her bed and looks out of her bedroom window, she quickly realizes why her dogs are so upset. Her outside garden gate is moving, violently clanging back and forth all by itself. start talking or talking barking doing crazy stuff and then looking outside doors open it's dark your first instinct would be I can't see in the dark where is my flashlight where the flashlight and the plant Jump in, Vominos. Like, you gotta, you know, go ahead and look out there with a flashlight, like, like a police officer. You know? Have, 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 that, have that act like this is the flashlight. And that blinky right there. Ugh. Scope. 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 Because if it's in the flesh, it can get taken out easily. Down. Two shots, one to the chest, one to the head. It's not manslaughter if it's on your property, bro. Or maybe it is. I don't know the way they change the laws nowadays. But I don't promote gun violence. It's not what I do, bro. Just saying. Protect yourself at all times, bro. Stick your head. Now the gate moving by itself is shocking enough, but most terrifying of all, some very strange looking person appears to be standing just outside the garden fence. Cassandra runs to grab a brighter flashlight, but when she returns, the mysterious figure has disappeared. She seems to hear something nearby and whispers, hello. As if in response to her greeting, someone violently pounds on the door right beside her. Cassandra says that she called the police, but they didn't find anyone or anything around her property. So whatever this is, it remains unexplained. So just a note here, unfortunately, we will not be taking any new Nuke Stop 5 merch orders in January. And I'm not sure when we'll be starting back yet. And the reason is, Thanks so much to all of you guys because we got so many Christmas orders that we could barely handle it. Way more than I ever expected. So we have to take a break on new orders for a little while. So if you would like to order any Nuke Top 5 merch, please get your order in by December 31st because then no new orders for a while. Summoning the Dead. The Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations team, Jeff, Phil and Pete set out to investigate the allegedly haunted Stanley Halls in South Norwood Hill, 
London, England. Stanley Halls was designed and built in 1903 by successful British inventor William Ford Robinson Stanley. Although a man of science, William Stanley was always intrigued by the paranormal. It is said that William performed a total of 13 seances to contact the dead and obtain insights into the future. A series of seances that took place, um, they were him using the communication with spirits to predict the future, to see what was going to happen and use it as a way to look at um, basically what the improvements of mankind would be over the next 50 years. William Stanley passed away from a heart attack in 1909, but Stanley Hall still stands today and is now a community center for the arts. The Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations team is told that many workers and visitors claim to have heard or seen the spirit of William so the investigators attempt to make contact with his ghost. They set up several static cameras throughout the building and then sit down at a table in the main hall stage area. They ask the ghost of William to join them at the table. What happens next catches them all by surprise. Who was that? Who, who was that? It was something moved here. There's a bang, isn't it? I don't know you feel it. it. Was it you, Peter? No. Well, it certainly wasn't me, because I have my elbows on the table like this. And I'm sitting here like this, holding the digital recorder. I haven't moved. As you can see, none of us move, and we feel the vibration go through the table. A loud bang can be heard, and the three investigators all question if one of them accidentally hit the table. But as we can see in the video, no one hit the table. At least, no one we can see. Who was that? Who, who was that? was something moved here. Throughout the night, the team continuously hears unexplained movement and voices, but none of it compares to what they capture on their static camera pointed at the main hall stage area. While the investigators are on a break, this happens. A dark figure is caught on static camera one and the investigators have no idea who or what this could be. Is it possible that they made contact with the ghost of William Stanley? Let me know what you think. You can watch this two-part investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. An unrestful stop. Late one night, truck driver Danny Ramirez pulls over at a rest stop in Oregon to sleep for the night. But there will be no sleep this night. He experiences something truly bizarre. What is it? Started to, to hear stuff out here. I'm over here on 97 on the rest stop. And, uh, I don't know. What the hell is that? Stop at this rest stop. <laughs> oh, 
And they say Bigfoot isn't real? I don't ever want to stick my arm out the window. I can't believe A loud animal-like wail can be heard coming from the woods right in front of Danny's parked truck. Danny believes he might have captured the sounds of a Bigfoot. Now it should be noted here that Danny has never posted anything related to the paranormal on his TikTok, which makes this creepy footage that much more believable. Also, others say that they've heard the exact same sounds in this exact same area. But of course, couple of days ago on TikTok, the same guy that I guess reported the giant on the mountain is now dead. Some say it was an assassination, some say that it was a tragic accident, whatever the case may be. Don't know, but it was reported that the guy is now dead. So, just saying. If you see something paranormal, do not record it. If anything, the only event you should be recording is police brutality. But let's move on. Real or not, I leave that to you to decide. Spirits. If you're a regular viewer of Nuke's Top 5, you might remember TikTok user Josiah Ward. Orly. Josiah experienced and recorded multiple paranormal experiences in his home in Minnesota and was also sort of known for his unhealthy lifestyle as he was usually drinking in his videos. For some stupid reason. Today's January 12th. For those who don't know, uh, it's a commemorating day for certain people who know a certain World War II veteran by the name of Huey P. McGowan. Um, do your research. Uh, and yeah. My phone. But do not drink any type of alcoholic substance while doing this paranormal Going to losing it for real. Alcohol will end up lowering what you're doing to a certain extent, increasing the frequency of you getting afraid. Don't do it, bro. Went from 30% to 5%. So I'm gonna take a shot. Do something. What the f As I was getting ready to leave, my phone almost died. Shh, what the f What happened to the light? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go grab everything that I possibly f can. Okay, okay, try me, bro. What's good? I'm not a bitch. Got your whole life exists out the window. Because bravery, bravery is not gonna cut it anywhere in this situation. At least I didn't think I was, but I'm starting to progressively become more scared. <laughs> in an attempt to escape the extreme paranormal activity in his apartment, 
Josiah moved to a new city with his girlfriend, and he also began to try to improve his bad health habits. But, as you might have guessed, whatever was haunting Josiah seems to have followed him to his new home. It went from being like this to being like this over. It's attached. It ain't going nowhere. Attached. Oh. I just cut off a FaceTime with uh, my friends Bree and Liz and they were saying that something was in the in the hallway. This ain't no fake room. For five minutes, I'm like that. Five minutes. Five minutes. Just give me five minutes. Here. 